This is probably new. <laughs> this is kind of a monstrosity to me, but this is the kind of stuff that's kind of going up around this neighborhood. Uh, you see a lot of, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, multi-use kind of facilities where they have restaurants at the bottom and uh, residential uh, apartments uh, or facilities at the top. Um, but at the same time, even though it's changing, it still has some of the same things that we need in the community in order to thrive. These are two of my favorite restaurants right here. This is Bus Boys and Poets right here. This is Eatonville. Uh, bus Boys and Poets is named after uh, Langston Hughes, who's a bus boy and a poet. Uh, this is the cool, it's, it's great, it's a combination of restaurant, coffee shop, bar, community space. They have a great bookstore in there uh, that's sponsored by Teaching for Change. So they have a lot of books that you might not normally see in your regular uh, bookstore. Uh, a lot of stuff you can use in your classroom. Just a lot of really good history books. Uh, but that place is very diverse. You see old, young, black, white. You know, it's very diverse and it's packed all the time. Excellent food. So that's a, a good place. Beansville, um, it's named after Zora Neale Hurston. Um, well, from where she was born. And that's just sort of a upscale southern cuisine, uh, a little bit more so than, uh, it's owned by the same people that own Bus Boys and Poets. So uh, this is a really cool restaurant if you like a little southern cuisine. Uh, so this area is sort of like the U Street corridor, you can think of the U Street But if you go up here, this goes into Columbia Heights, which is another neighborhood that's going through a lot of gentrification as well. That looks totally different than it looked when I first moved here like six years ago. It used to be nothing up there. Now they have a Target, Best Buys, um, what is it, Odell, like any, any chain, Bed Bath and Beyond, and that just totally changed the landscape of that particular neighborhood. Now, if you come down this way, this little building, this large building right here, this is a Frank B. Center. This was built in 1986. This is during uh, Marion Barry's term. So in 1986, uh, this was his part to try to bring uh, business back to this area. Uh, this area was struggling a little bit, so he basically created the city building so he could headquarter his um, his, um, I don't know, his administration in these buildings. So that was to help draw people back into this neighborhood. Of course, he did some other things too that uh, brought attention to himself. But, uh, he DC flag. Taxation without representation. It doesn't say taxation without representation. You see that on the, uh, if you look at the cars, you'll see a lot of the license plates say taxation without representation. So 